Behind me is one of the greatest views in the whole of the Lake District. You can't really see it and appreciate it right at the moment, uh, but it is. And uh, if you wait till the end of the video, I will wait till all the clouds have moved on and the storm has passed and the rain's passed and uh, I'll do a video of, of what it looks like when it's all nice and uh, clear. But uh, <coughs> I want to talk about cycles in the few couple of minutes that we've got here up here on uh, Walla Crag. And uh, obviously there's a cycle going on behind me, the water cycle, where the, uh, you know, the rain pours down, it flows off the rivers, uh, into the lakes and uh, down off to the sea. And then it gets, evaporation takes place and the whole thing starts again. Um, but I want to talk about a cycle of hate, first of all, a cycle of hate. Now you know how hate works, you know, somebody um, does something bad to somebody and that other person seeks revenge and the person who's been, uh, had that revenge seen to them then re seeks even greater revenge and it just goes on and on backwards and forwards and things get worse and worse and the hatred increases and intensifies. Uh, it's a bit like, you know, uh, that uh, famous quote in The Godfather where, um, is it Al Pacino says, they come at us with a knife, we'll go at them with a gun. They send one of us as to the hospital, we'll send one of them to the morgue. And that's how the cycle of hate intensifies and grows greater. But you know, there's a cycle of uh, hate that goes on generationally. And that's where, you know, somebody's been abused and, and that person who's been abused then becomes the abuser and abuses those who are underneath them. Uh, so like a, if a father has abused his children, those children will then often become abusers themselves and that cycle of hate continues and we need someone to break the cycle. And you can only break the cycle of hate with the cycle of love, the cycle of love. And you know, God broke that cycle of hate when he showed love to us. You know, 2000 years ago uh, at the cross of Calvary, God died for us. He paid our debt. He uh, was crucified in our place in the form of Jesus, the God-man. And thanks to his sacrifice on the cross, that, that cycle of hatred, that cycle of anger, that wrath was broken and the cycle of love started. So now we can love him because he first loved us. You know, there is no greater love that you can experience than the love of God. And when you love him and you feel that love back, you know, you will be fulfilled not just on this life, but for all eternity. God's love is the best love that we can ever know. So I pray that you enter into that cycle of love and love the one who first loved us.